Hey there everyone, welcome back to episode 14. This is going to be episode 14 of our Techni Tutorials now. Um, today I'm going to be going into something which um, is called Railcraft. Um, most of you have probably heard of it through uh, one way or, an, or another. And um, First thing I want to point out is, is it's the rail mod for Tekkit and it's how you can transport yourself around. Uh, first of all I just want to explain that Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and make a minecart track. Oh, wait, we can't. This is how you usually make uh, minecart tracks in normal Minecraft. However, it's a lot more complicated than that for Railcraft. So, what we need to do is, first of all, go and find yourself some clay. I was quite lucky um, because it, you can do this from early on, but I, you need a lot of clay. And I was quite lucky because I did. Uh, <laughs> now I've got an energy gun, so it's not too important. You're going to want to go ahead and stick that into an, a furnace, any type of furnace really, uh, which cooks it. So you can get bricks, and um, with these bricks you'll need to grab yourself some sand, again, from your nearest beach. And from here we can start to make the basic, um, I'd say, formula for railcraft and one of the most important things which you need to do. So you go ahead with five or is it four bricks? I, can't, I really can't remember. It's either like that. No, it's the other way around. So with five sand and four bricks, um, just grab a sand in the middle there. Create this thing called a coke oven brick. Now, you may think, okay, this coke oven brick looks like normal brick. Same as every other brick. Can we right click in it? No. Um, it's a little bit different to all the other things which you can create in Tekkit. This one actually needs to be placed specifically. Uh, in a certain thing and for one coke oven furnace which you'll need to create um, you actually need 26 I think 26 to be exact uh, coke oven bricks and we go ahead and set it out like this so I'm just going to show you um, you do 9 on the bottom then you do 1 up missing out the middle gap so do not put anything in there leave it blank and then another one on the top, except fill this one in. And you'll know it's what you'll notice that uh, when I filled it in completely, these little windows appear, and uh, that's how you know that. Oh shit! <laughs> that's how you know that your furnace is working. Now we can go ahead and right click on it. It's a little bit bugged out for me, so that's that slot's actually um, something there. This slot's here, and the other two slots are. <laughs> somewhere else but what we're gonna gonna want to do overall um, this will be in the next video with advanced things is create actually a rail track system which is able to unload stuff into the top which we need and um, <coughs> uh, collect the things out of the top and the side I mean the side and the bottom so if we right click and go ahead uh, you will need to put into the cook oven to be able to make, get it to work coal and what the coal does is it burns away over three minutes it takes exactly uh, it burns away to this stuff called coal coke and it's basically another fuel source um, and you can use that again and again it's a little bit more powerful than coal and it can be used for a lot of railcraft like things which need to be done um, I'd already had 3D set up so I'll go ahead and uh, shove the <laughs> whoops shove the coal into there and obviously you can see it started burning again you'll want a few of these just so it becomes more efficient for you maybe even a few more than this um, because we're not looking for the uh, coal coke I think these um, you'll see here there's no liquidy substance here that stuff there is creosote oil and over time that will uh, be created from just it's kind of a passing benefit of the um, coal coke furnace However, it's probably the most important thing you will need to have. Uh, it can be found in dungeons, as shown. That was my dun dungeon chest, but it's in here anyway. So this creosote bottle. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually need a bottle to put put it in. Um, uh, I'd better just check that out. I don't. I'm pretty sure you don't. Um, have we got any empty bottles? No. I will uh, just grab some of them now. I don't have any glass. Okay. Um, 
I'll just uh, I'll just come back in a minute to here and check how the crew seat oil's on. I'm pretty sure it just creates it automatically without ne the need of putting it into bottles. Um, so cold coke and the crew seat oil. Um, yeah, you don't actually need a bottle. It'll just create it over time. So if we take the cold coke out, will that then create it? I don't know. As you can see, the graphic is bugged out. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of this world a second to my main screen. Texture packs. I'm gonna just go on the default look of Minecraft and see how this works. Um, I can go back after if it hasn't worked. Um, it may have just frozen. So I'll be talking to a blank screen for a while. Okay, here we go. Done. Thank you. Let's head back into here. It could take a while to load up, so I'm just going to um, stop recording for a second. Okay, here we go. This is the default look of Minecraft. Ah, here we go. Uh, so you do actually need a bucket to fill it up with crazy oil. Probably would have been a lot easier to do it like this, seeing as the graphic glitched out. Um, but here's what it, <laughs> the default look of my Minecraft world is. It, do, it doesn't quite strike the same posture as my... <laughs> um, Texture pack did. Look, this is horrible. Ugh. God, oh my god. This is terrible. I am going to need to <laughs> go back to the texture pack soon. Uh, however, for this, we will grab some bottles. Oh, look at all this piping. That's grim. Get that texture pack, guys. Um, it's Doku Craft. I think. No, it can't be. It's facts, sorry. It's facts. Right, let's take a bucket and we'll also. Oh! We actually have standard. We have track in here, so. Go and check out chests, guys. Always look at chests. Um, not like literally in real life. I meant like chests as in dungeon chests. Okay. Three. I think that's how you. How many you need. Let's have a look. Oh god, this looks so horrible. There we go, some glass bottles. Okay, that should do. Let's go and have a look if we can fill up some crew seat bottles. And this crew seat oil is actually what um, is the founding for you actually being able to build tracks in Minecraft. Well, in Minecraft here. So if we shove a glass bottle up there. Oh yeah, there we go. Three crew seat bottles. So, as you can see, the uh, extra of um, this thing. Now, those have been burning for about well obviously there was six cold coke in one so that must be about 30 minutes well less than 30 minutes but around 30 minutes we'll say um, so obviously it's about it's quite a long time so you'll want quite a few obviously um, just so your efficiency goes up and you're able to build more track um, On in this episode I'll only be showing you how to build the basic track and rails with some advanced rails and then next time I'll get on to the specifics so Look out for episodes 15 if you're watching this now, and everything should be ready. Obviously, you can see the cold coke is being created, and look how slowly it's going. But anyway, this is um, going quite well. I already had nine, so four from that one. What's that? Oh, Klein Star is horrible in this. Uh, another one from that one, which I already put it in. So there's obviously extras coming out. That's the one we just put in. We already got one cold coke. And uh, this can be burned as normal uh, fuel. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial because I made a promise to my viewers. <laughs> made a promise to my viewers that in the technic tutorial, uh, I wouldn't be for the snake. I wouldn't be using any coal for anything. So I've kept true to my word for that. And even in these tutorials, I haven't been. God, it looks horrible, doesn't it? I'm sorry about this, guys. It's just the easiest way to show you this tutorial, to be honest. Okay, now we've got this crew seat oil. Uh, we've got two left over this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now we've got the crew seat oil. We can go ahead and start creating these rails. So, crew seat bottle. Uh, you'll go ahead and want to get yourself some wood. So, get as many as you need for that. And we want to create some wooden slabs and there we go and create quite a few 30 what you want to do here is put three wooden slabs along the bottom and one crew seat bottle in the middle it creates you a wooden tie so uh, it's slightly expensive but not as expensive as we would um, it's not that expensive 
overall. So if we go ahead and create a few of them, so we've got 10 of them now, which is quite good. Uh, I'm going to reference this, so to my Technic tutorial, uh, Technic Let's Play viewers, I'm going to reference this so you guys know how to create all this stuff as well. Um, okay, now we've got these wooden ties, we will want to go ahead and create this track. So if I, if I remember correctly, so, um, we can always type it in here. Okay, look, look at all these tracks, I'll show you how to create all these next time, but for now we just want basic track. Now we need a wooden rail bed and standard rail. Standard rail is easy to make. Um, if I can remember that. <laughs> I think it's like redstone and iron. Uh, okay, it's just... No. Ah, we need a rolling machine. Okay. I haven't actually ever created one of these before, so... <laughs> Great tutorial here. So, rolling machine. Ah, okay, it's not too bad. We need a crafting table four iron and four pistons so we need redstone need some more iron let's just grab a stack of that um, redstone which is in here got loads of that and a crafting table uh, which requires some wood easy as pie okay let's go um, okay crafting table done checked off oh we actually need some more wooden cobblestone okay don't have any cobble, not too big of a problem. Just stop that creating dark matter. Easy, there we go. Look, I'm gonna use that. It's almost a stack of cobblestone just from a few seconds. Um, okay, so cobblestone. Uh, actually, need to create some wood. I only need uh, four of these, so go ahead and create as many as you want. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna create. Okay, six, whatever. Um, you can then go ahead and just <laughs> put the pistons in the right place. Uh, iron, it's pretty simple. And a crafting bench. Okay, there we go. Rolling machine. Now, where do we want this? I um, suppose we could have it. Nah, no, nah. It's, too, it's too cluttered. I need another workspace. Let's put it here. Um, probably a bad place to put it. We can move it around later. Okay, let's uh, in the rolling machine, let's do the iron to create these standard rails. Okay, so six iron in a rolling machine. Easy. Creates you these standard rails. That's what you want. Okay. Now with this, uh, now with the uh, wooden ties which we had, we want to create a, a sort of a okay, maybe it's the top left. No, what am I doing wrong? I don't know. Oh, two seconds. Sorry about that, guys. Mum just came in. Um, yeah, it was, it was that for it. Was just not in the wrong machine. I was in the wrong one. What does that create? Wooden post. Whatever. I think that's for track purposes. Okay, let's create two wooden rail beds just by that. Pretty easy. Um, now this is starting to annoy me. Go away. Um, okay, so we got the wooden rail beds. You'll then want to. With the standard rails, just grow up like that. And to be honest, how many is that? That's four bottles of creosote oil, three wooden slabs. Um, you've obviously got to create the rolling machine, but that's not too hard. And um, the iron, that's not too bad for 16 tracks. Um, it's much more expensive than normal. The only problem, the, the, the only real problem, is trying to create this creosote oil. But apart from that, it's fine. So you go. You got your standard tracks. Um, and now one more thing I'm going to be showing you is actually I know how to create this. Um, is how to uh, build the advanced um, stand advanced rails. Um, it's basically the same as. Oh damn! I used all my wooden. Shit! <laughs> Gonna have to go and fly over and get some more. Uh, Get some more bottle of oil. Uh, for those of you who po post in the comment section, why do you do this live and not just spawn all the items in? Because I think it's more true to creasy bucket. Oh God. Um, yeah, apparently you can create creasy buckets. Okay, so you can just put the glass bottles in there and create the creasy oil. That's fine. I can do that and change the texture pack back. Um, so yeah, we've. Uh, 
got these standard tracks and these work like normal minecart tracks exactly the same um, so let's just pick them up just jump down here um, what was I saying before oh yeah uh, why I do it normal time is because I feel it it's better for the viewers watching um, I feel it gives them more of a chance to keep up with what I'm doing and it doesn't like annoy them because people are going too fast Okay, there we go. Let's create some more wooden ties. Let's keep them in there. Um, okay, so then we go with iron, is it? Or is it gold? Um, done the wrong thing again. Just need to create a wooden tie. I mean, <laughs> uh, wooden rail bed. Uh, and then, unless it's just with gold and... Uh, oh no, my lights have gone out. Hooray! <laughs> That's Redstone Mod. Uh, go and check out my other videos on that for information on how to do that. This is with gold, a redstone, and a wooden railbed. Could just be iron. Or neither. Um, unless it's. <laughs> okay, let's just have a look. Let's just. Shit. Um, ah, it's bound to be something like that, wasn't it? I knew it was something. Okay, we need the standard rails. We need three of them. We need three gold, three redstone. Voila, you've got your advanced rails. And now, you want to create a few of these. Keep some standard rails, and there we go. Those are the basics of railcraft. Those are the basic things you'll need to do in railcraft to be able to progress into different things, into different. Um, onto the more advanced rails and next time we'll go on to how to create a crowbar and how to create some of the fun things like uh, jumpy rails which i call them elevator rails and to be honest let's create ourselves a roller coaster so next time episode is this this might be 15 uh, it could be i think it's 14 but it could be 15 so go and check out episode 15 uh, or 16 I suppose uh, for the more advanced stuff in Railcraft but here you go here are the basics there's nothing really more you need to know than that uh, if you have any questions obviously post in the comments um, if anyone posts that you hate my videos why the fuck are you watching them in the first place um, so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching guys and I'll see you for the next video bye